So uh, when we're setting the injector plunger height on the 3126, we're setting the timing. Okay. Uh, on this one here, the injectors have to be set when they're all the way up, not all the way down. All right. So which set are you guys on? Are you on the three, five, six, right? three, five, and six? Okay. So the first thing we got to do is we use a gauge block and we use this dial indicator here. Now this is part of the tool group for doing the top end setup. So we turn this on. Uh, your injector plunger height, what was it? What's your spec? It's on the valve cover. It's actually 63.88 millimeters on this one. All right. So if I zero this out right here, uh, this gauge block, oops, is actually 62 millimeters, all right? So if I zero this thing out, that means um, anything plus or minus is going to be from 62 as my reference point, okay? So I'll take this thing off, and what I'll do is I'll put this on here so you can see it just sits on top of the injector, right on the plunger, okay? Uh, you got to get it... We gotta get it to sit right on the little nub at the back of the injector. It doesn't sit on the top of the head. Okay? Now, what are we reading at there? Uh, minus 1.79. Okay. We were zeroed, and when the injector, sorry, when the uh, uh, plunger moves out on my dial indicator, it goes negative, right? Yeah. But we have to do 62 millimeters plus 1.88 millimeters to get to our 63.88, right? Yeah. So we're not quite there, so do I have to go up or down on this one? Oh, you have to go up. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and make that adjustment for me. So we get to 1.88. It'll read negative, but that's just because the uh, plunger's moving out on the valve indicator. Okay, so we're set. That's all we need to do. All right. Okay. Uh, if we set them too low, what happens to our timing? Does it get advanced or retarded? It be advanced. Okay. Uh, if we set them too low, it's going to advance. And the reason it advances because the plunger is going to hit port closure sooner. It's already closer to the port. Yeah. If we set them too high, we can retard the timing. So on this engine here, even though we have a hard value for our timing, it's pretty easy to adjust our timing just by simply setting the plungers higher or lower. Okay. Any engine that's got mechanical unit injectors, whether it's one of the old two-stroke Detroits, or one of these uh, 3126, 3124, 3114, and 3116 engines, all of them use this same setup and you can set the timing by doing that. Okay, cool. so it's pretty basic. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can use uh, vernier calipers set to the correct dimension and you can measure from the same nub at the back of the injector to the top of the injector plunger here. And if you had that 63.8, just set your, your uh, caliper, just rest it there, and adjust it until it's touching. Okay, okay? Good. So, yeah.